Judge for yourself, is this a long lost clip of a younger John Travolta? Spoiler alert, this is not real, it is a deep fake and a good one at that. I have prepared a new and updated script for you, stay until the end, I will show you how to do this with ease. Step 1, get an influencer. Head over to TikTok to find an existing influencer. I like this guy, check out his profile, he is clearly a manly man. Let's play one. That will do, let's copy the URL. Head over to snaptick.com and paste in the URL and hit return. Then, download the clip. Step 2, pick a target. Head over to Google, we will need a male character with a light beard. Here are some good ones. Oh, I recognize this guy, the famous John Travolta. Let's save his image. Step 3, deep fake. First, I want to give credit where credit is due. You will find this repository on GitHub, and none of this would be possible without the team from FaceFusion. You can see they just released a new version, 2.0. Scrolling down, you can see what it looks like. If you want to see the features of the new version, you can find them here. You can see they updated many models. They also improved the performance of the face recognition models. There are many other improvements, we will cover them in future videos. Now, if you want to install it from here, you can, you will find all the install directions, but they can be difficult. So, don't worry, I have you covered, I have created a fork of this repository and prepared an easy one-click script for you to run it. You are looking at a Google Colab script. Google provides these servers for free, so you don't have to install software on your own system to test drive it. The script is in Python, don't worry, it is easy, I will explain what you need to know. First, we clone the repository. Again, this is a fork of the FaceFusion script, to my personal repository with some slight modifications, to make it run here on Colab. Next, we change into that subdirectory. Next we install some libraries, including ngrok. Please note, ngrok is included here, to be backward compatible with my older videos, but is no longer needed. We can skip this ngrok code and jump to the bottom, where we simply run the script. Now, that wasn't that hard was it? Step 4, click that button. Okay, as promised, this was going to be easy, all you have to do is click this run button. You will see a disclaimer about Colab and my repository. Read it and click OK. Next, the script will run and you will see the logs below. This will take a couple minutes, so take a bio break that you humans often need. When it completes, you will find a public URL at the bottom, provided by the Gradio library. Click that URL and the new FaceFusion application will open in a new tab. Upload your source image. Then, upload your target video. It will take a few seconds to process that video. When it finishes, you will see a low-resolution preview on the right. Don't worry, the finished video is much better. Scroll down, you will see the settings we need. If there are multiple faces in the video, you will want to select the one you want to change here. You can even select multiple faces, but we will leave that for a future video. I also find it useful to adjust up the reference face distance, as it helps the algorithm. Again, we can check the low resolution preview to make sure it looks good. Now, on the left, we see the many models we can choose from, we will leave the default, but you can play with these. I do like to change the video quality to 100. Now, all you have to do is hit that start button and sit back. To check the progress, go back to the prior collab tab. 
When the video shows a black screen, just hang in there, as we can see back on the Collab tab, it is still working, be patient. When it finishes, we can play a preview. <laughs> Don't forget to download it. Step 5. Let's compare the results. Now sit back and compare your work. The one on the left will be the original, the new, younger John Travolta is on the right. Tell me what you think in the comments. Now, for the next steps. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notify button, so you don't miss my upcoming content. Take a moment to drop me a comment, tell me how I am doing, and let me know any content you want to see. Check out our other videos on using AI to make money online. Until next time, bye-bye.